So the arch is all cut and ready for the arch centre to go in. So um, just a little recap on the arch centre obviously was all drawn out here and then obviously we find if you remember the striking points and from then then we uh, radiate for our joints and then obviously when we draw these on I extend the, all these lines so that when they're extended I can draw them all on to the arch centre so I've got something to follow so obviously with them being on there they match these ones identically and um, you saw how when I was cutting them I was just laying them in just to make sure that each time I came up to these joint um, these marks and left myself a bit of a joint so um, I'm now going to take this over and we've got the timbers in for it and I, I like doing this, I like putting in like the two jams and then a couple of struts. I always do one diagonal strut and then I like to do an intermediate one and just leave the screws low enough so that you can um, undo them when you're finished and build the arch just so um, all the timber work just falls to pieces once uh, the arch is done. So just get me folding wedges in both sides and just getting up to my spring line getting it there, the next thing to do is obviously plumb this up just uh, by doing that and then I'll put a brace in the back here up to there and then I just like to sturdy this up by putting the brace on the back making sure that we are level and then um, then just be able to get a line across for face plane and away we go and so again this is what we're going to be doing so it's kind of a block bonded arch to mimic the block bonding on the two jams So just got a screw in for each of the three centres, one down there, that one and that one there. Obviously I'll put a string in there and I'll radiate these ones as they come round and obviously as I get past that point I'll then go down to that one to radiate the middle part. Um, so you just see that I've got these first ones all like cut in. Or cut the hand with, uh, well, the mini grinder. So, um, they're alright. I'm kind of happy with them. One or two little things I'm going to have to rub out. But, generally, on the whole, hopefully, that should look alright. Never done one like this before, so um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. They forecast a lot of rain, but we do have. A lot of polythene up there, so hopefully we'll be alright. Keep trying and get this done. We have a very lovely rainy day today. Just showing how the line works from that striking point. And that will do all these ones. And then it goes to that one. To do all these ones. Until I hit that. Until I hit that. To do these ones. That was yummy. So we have a very wet morning. Uh, managed to get this in, uh, but unfortunately. Couldn't uh, film it because um, 
there's a radio on too loud and obviously I can't have music playing while I'm videoing for YouTube or Instagram so anyway um, I don't know if um, I ever get a chance to do one of these again but that's been fun but um, this half well after break it's break time now um, obviously I'm gonna start filling in all these bits um, that is my line come back from the focus um, for the next course on there so obviously we're there next course up that's our, my, my little gauge rod it takes me through to the crown and all the way through so um, I just got to fill in like five courses six courses and then get the tram line through and technically as soon as I get my tram line through and one course on top of that I'll feel safe to um, drop the arch centre out and then I can get inside and do all the, the gathering but yeah so yeah I'm looking forward to seeing this from a, a little bit um, further out at the minute of obviously restricted but yeah quite happy with it well it's still raining and uh, I've just got to join up. The bricks are a little bit too wet though, so I've just got to be a little bit careful with it. But just putting the creepers in, obviously having to cut round all of that sort of rustic arch. So um, all I'm gonna do is obviously follow a line, so I've just got uh, that header to do and cut over, but then I've just got that little um, pocket there to fill in. So it'll be this side done. And then tomorrow when it's not raining, I will get in that section over the other side, just there. And I will do exactly the same as what I've just been doing here. Cutting around and cutting in. So hopefully it should look all right. So on a really, really wet day, I've just got the top ones to um, join up and then give them a gentle brush because everything's so wet um, so I've done the creepers through the right hand side and uh, I've just put a batten across um, just to mark all the joints that follow through from George's side just to make sure that there's my last header and I've got a stretcher in there which all fits in very nice um, just how we set it out originally on the bottom. So I just want to make sure that these joints, we have kept um, plumb points there and uh, we kept plumb points down here as well just to make sure but um, obviously we have to double check and obviously as I do my creepers I will then follow the joints that I've got there just the same as what I have there. So again just a bit of a joint up, got to be careful brushing now because everything's so wet but that is our um, Recentered arch, half, um, what do you call it, creepered over, cheap as creepers. So, once I've done the left hand side with the old creepers, um, what we do then is we will um, put some tram line, bed reinforcement, on top of this course, and then probably two courses above we'll put another one in. And because there is um, a fair amount of brickwork going to go up uh, above it. And I know that the arch should um, or would take all the weight, but we just like to give it a little bit of belt and braces. So, right, I'm going to um, just uh, wash everything out and then I will come back and attempt to join that up. <laughs> 